today we're going to do a lentils eruption and this is a messy experiment so I think you should do it outdoors because if we do it indoors it might be a little difficult to clean up. For this experiment you'll need a Coca-Cola bottle, some Mentos, a test tube, and a piece of paper. So the first step is to put eight or nine Mentos in the test tube. Do you know why I didn't put it in the bottle? Because if I put it in the bottle, I'll have to do it one at a time. I'll not be able to see the Mentos eruption properly. So put, put about eight Mentos in the test tube, and then open the, and then open the Coca Cola bottle. Put the paper over the Mentos and. Put the paper over the Mentos. Line it up with the Coca Cola. Or I say one, two, pull. One, two, three, pull. We're gonna pull this paper. One, two, three. And what's that? Oh, this bottle accidentally fell down. So I'll be trying again at a different table. Fill the test tube with Mentos. Put the paper over the test tube. Open the Coca Cola bottle. Now. Light it up with the Coca-Cola bottle. Make sure it's cracked. Put the paper and Oh, what's that? Did you see that? Wasn't that amazing? If you haven't subscribed to my channel, you can subscribe now so you'll get the notifications when I upload the other video. When you open the bottle of a carbonated drink, you release the pressure. As the carbon dioxide is less soluble at lower pressure, it starts to leave the drink in the form of small bubbles. When you add Mentos to the bottle, you're drastically speeding up this process. Though the surface of a Mentos candy may look smooth, it's actually full of pits, peaks, and craters like a miniature version of the moon. These pits, peaks, and craters are referred to as nucleation sites. They provide a surface for the carbon dioxide bubbles to form on and allow them to form more, much more rapidly. When Mentos are added to coke, they, their surface acts like nucleation sites. 